Hey everyone, uh, we're going to go over a few things. I, I know I'm asking you to watch a video on a Wednesday, but we're, it's not going to take us very long. But uh, what I need you to do is on your iPad uh, is to locate your section one notes. And we're going to go over them briefly. So when you return on uh, those of you who are on, on the orange group, uh, they come in on Thursday, then you will be uh, taking a quiz over this information I'm about to give you. And same thing with those who are coming in on Friday, the white group, uh, you guys will be taking a quiz as well. So please pay attention, uh, mark it down. You can always rewind this video if you like, and, um, and uh, to go over a few other things or to add to your notes if you like. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And the first thing I'm gonna share is, is, are the notes. And we'll go over those. Actually, you know what? The first thing I'm going to share is going to be the map. And we're going to talk a little bit about those. Okay, here we go. So what you're seeing on your screen is a map of South America. Now, most of the information that we're going to be giving, um, that I'll be giving you, will be based off the landforms of South America. So they include uh, the big ones is the Amazon Basin. So if you're looking at this area right through here, the Amazon Basin is, uh, it drains the um, ice caps off of the Andes Mountains and drains them into the Atlantic Ocean. You can see where the river is right through here. Uh, this area right here is the mouth of the Amazon uh, River. It goes down through the Amazon River is the second largest river in the world. Only the Nile is larger than it. Okay, the next group, uh, the next uh, landform is the Andes Mountains. If you look on your screen, the Andes Mountains is located all the way, uh, it goes from the northern part of South America to the southern part of South America, all the way down to Cape Horn uh, or Tierra del Fuego. The, uh, the Andes is actually part of a large, even a larger uh, mountain range called the uh, um, Rocky Mountains. It goes all the way down through and then hits. It's all actually part of the big uh, ring of fire that we talked about at the beginning of the year, the ring of fire. So, and there's a lot of volcanoes. The tallest mountains in the Andes, the tallest mountain in the Andes is called Mount Aconcagua. And it's located right around uh, this area and near, in between Chile and Argentina. So, okay. And then uh, the next one is the Pampas region. It is the grasslands. These are all vocab words, to, uh, just so you know. The Amazon River, the, de uh, the definition of an Amazon River is the uh, a long river in Northern South America. Uh, that could be on the quiz. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, so you need to know that. It is the long river in Northern South America. The <clears throat> um, Andes uh, Mountains generally is just uh, the large mountain range located on the Western side of South America. The Pampas region down here is the grasslands located in South America. It is located in, in Argentina, which is this country right here. Um, it is a, actually one of the most beautiful places um, in the world, they believe so. And the Pampas, the definition of the Pampas is basically a flat grassland region. The um, rainforest itself is located in the Amazon basin that you see me circling on the map, the Amazon basin, and uh, it, which hosts to the largest rainforest in the world. It's, it is a lar uh, excuse me, a dense evergreen forest that has abundant rainfall throughout the year. So that drains out into the Atlantic Ocean, like I mentioned before. Uh, the Isthmus, if you look to the Northern part up here, uh, it doesn't have Central America on here, but this is Central America. And this area is an isthmus. It's a narrow strip of land that connects two larger land masses and has waters on both sides. So one side of it is the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, and then the other side is the Pacific Ocean. And it continues on. It connects, obviously, South America to North America. The, um, there is something, and historically, we're going to be talking about the Panama Canal which is located right in Panama. It's that narrow strip that ships can pass through to get from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean without going all the way around the southern tip of South America. Okay, so where is um, Latin America located? So Latin America is located 
in the Western Hemisphere. Um, it is on. It is on. It is west of the Prime Meridian, so it's the Western Hemisphere. And uh, Latin America is located in both the Northern and Southern Hemispheres as well. But I would say, as a whole, Latin America is located in the Western Hemisphere. And you can see where the equator is here. That separates the northern hemisphere and the western hemisphere, or northern and southern hemispheres, but the whole thing is located in the western hemisphere. Again, it is located in the western hemisphere. Um, <clears throat> then uh, countries that you would find in the Caribbean, uh, we'll go over that here in a second. I'm going to switch back out, and then I'm going to go to the notes that if that you have that you should have over section one. And here they are. Now the notes uh, mention something about um, Middle America, Caribbean, South America. Those, so those are the three regions that we've broken this down into. So landforms that you would find in Middle America. Now Middle America would include Mexico all the way down to Panama, which is just this small, tiny little isthmus narrow strip of land and then it also, uh, uh, so that would include Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. So those, that's what Middle America is made up of. And then you have things like <clears throat> Mexico that has this big, large central plateau where Mexico City is located on. And uh, it is... Uh, a narrow coast it has narrow coastal plains, active volcanoes found all over Middle America, and mountains are dominant. The two main mountain ranges in Mexico are called the Sierra Madres, um, and they are kind of like a V form. And in between those two mountain ranges includes is the Central Plateau. Now the Caribbean has a ton of little islands and some big islands that you'll need to know. Um, some of the tiny islands, smaller islands, are made of coral which are um, bones of uh, tiny sea animals. And you, if you've ever walked on a beach, you would know the difference between a coral island and a, a mountaintop island. The mountaintop island probably has sand on the sandy beaches. Coral islands has, they look like tiny little rocks, but they're just a bunch of little, basically sea skeletons of little tiny little animals. It's not as fun to walk on a coral beach with bare feet than it is on a sandy beach of bare feet. Uh, island and features, uh, island features mountain ranges, lowlands, some volcanoes, uh, not very many volcanoes, just a few. But those, the Caribbeans, uh, include islands. The biggest island is Cuba. Another island uh, that's pretty decent size, but it's made up of two countries, is the island of Hispaniola. And Hispaniola has both Haiti and the Dominican Republic. You have Puerto Rico, which is another island uh, just east of Hispaniola, and it is a territory of the United States of America, so it's under our protection. And then the other large island is Jamaica, and Jamaica is located south of um, um, is located south of Cuba, um, and uh, but that's those are the main islands. Then you have the smaller islands that are the coral islands like Turks and Caicos and so on. But the bigger islands I just mentioned, those are all types of mountains, underwater mountains that have just breached the water and have gotten green and, and people live there. They're actually beautiful. And the essay, the, or the, excuse me, the discussion that we had, Caribbean would be one of my favorite places that I would love to go to there just, be, just because I know that the, it is a relaxing type atmosphere and I love the, the, uh, the weather there. And then South America, you have the Andes along the western coast of South America, the second highest mountain range in the world. East of the Andes are the rolling highlands, the Pampas stretch through Argentina and Uruguay. Remember we talked about the Pampas being the grasslands. The Amazon River Basin contains the largest tropical rainforest in the world. Um, waterways include man, the Amazon River, you have the Paraná River, Paraguay River, the Uruguay River, all locate, go into the Rio de la Plata. And I'll show you that map in here, the Rio de la Plata in a second. 
uh, Lake Titicaca, 12,500 feet, highest lake in the world, which ships can travel. So pretty cool. And, and I'm sure they have locks and stuff, kind of like the Panama Canal. Um, so let me go back to the map real quick so you can see it. And uh, I meant to tell you the, the Rio del Plata is right somewhere. There we go. Um, down here at the bottom is Uruguay. This triangle that you see down at the bottom, if you find the pompous here, find my cursor. There it is. This triangle area right through here is the Rio de la Plata. And it is home to uh, Montevideo, which is the capital of Uruguay, which is this country. It is also Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. And these are the rivers that they're talking about, the Paraguay River, the Uruguay River, and the um, Paraná River. And then you have rivers up here, like the Orinoco, which Enya has a song about the Orinoco River. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. You guys, uh, just so you have an idea of what was expected and so on, uh, be ready for uh, the quiz that comes in. Uh, questions like landforms dominates much of especially South America. What's the main land? Uh, uh, like South America, what's the main dominant figure landform in South America? And that's obviously going to be the mountain ranges such as the Andes. And so, and then you know the countries that are the part of the Caribbean, some of the countries that are part of uh, the uh, um, Middle America as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, give me a call and we will uh, try and um, answer your questions as much as possible. All right, see you later this week.